Charlotte came to Ashley as a 12-year-old. She told the Commission of Inquiry a guard began making sexual advances towards her, touching her legs and making sleazy comments. You're very pretty. I'd love it if you're a bit older. She says she was left alone with male detainees and was raped, unable to tell anyone. I just had to leave it like that because if I said anything, he would have got the other girls in there to bash me. Her mental health deteriorated. She began acting out, was locked in her cell for days at a time and began self-harming. This other lady worker came in. She stopped me, she took the stuff off me, but she slammed my head into the wooden bed base and she told me to grow up and stop doing it that's making more paperwork for them. Like many witnesses, Charlotte told the Commission she didn't report physical or sexual violence because she wouldn't be believed. The current assistant manager at Ashley told the inquiry that during her 22-year career, she'd only heard one complaint of a child sexually abusing another. And she conceded that most of the staff at Ashley don't believe that historical allegations against their colleagues are true. Would you agree that that's a general view that's held at Ashley? Yes. Is it a view that you hold? Um, it's a hard question. Ms Atkins said children at Ashley were treated well. It was the staff that were fearful of false allegations made by the children. They will say, um, you know, you touched me or whatever, so that they can get a payout. 11 children remain at Ashley. Will Murray, ABC News. And if you or anyone you know needs help, you can contact Lifeline.